Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Happy Black Friday. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving and you were able to be around your friends and your family and just take time off and kind of just relax and have peace. Today we are back at it with some new makeup products. I have um, just a few things that I've kind of picked up along the way just within the past few weeks and I haven't done, um, I haven't put them in a video yet so I thought I would just kind of throw them all in a video. Um, not everything here is new, but I have a few new things. I also have a couple new products from Undone Beauty um, that I'm going to share with y'all today. They actually sent these to me and they are releasing today, which is Black Friday. They're releasing today on their website. So I wanted to get this video up so that y'all could um, hear my thoughts and see if they're worth your money. Um, these were sent to me, but this is not a sponsored video. If you don't know already, I do not do sponsored videos. I don't do sponsored content. So um, I actually have an entire video where I kind of explain why. So I'll link that below if you're interested, but this is not sponsored. They did just send these to me just to kind of test out and check out and I thought that was really sweet so um, I'm going to give you my full thoughts on all of these products not just the undone beauty ones I have an eyeshadow trio from Mor Ooh. hello from Morphe I have some MAC lip products um what else is new actually that might be it I really don't have a ton of new new stuff, but I just wanted to kind of play with some products with y'all on camera and give you my thoughts um, because I just haven't done it yet. They've just been sitting in, on my vanity and I have posted about them on Instagram, but I haven't done a video on them. So um, before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my channel. And then while you're at it, hit that notification bell that'll notify you every single time that I post a new video. So if you wanna see my thoughts on some new products and see this full face of makeup. Um, I think this would be a gorgeous holiday time, Christmas time makeup look. I love a good red lip all year round, but the holiday season just really is the perfect time to pull out your red lipsticks. So if you wanna see how I did this entire makeup look, as well as my thoughts on some new products, then just keep watching. All right, good morning, guys. Um, it is it is morning for me. I don't know what time it is for you, but I just woke up this morning and I really wanted to film this video because this is very exciting and I wanted to get it up on time um, because a couple of the products that I'm going to be showing y'all today actually don't release until Black Friday, which um, when this is going up, it'll be Black Friday, so it should be available by the time you see this video. So if there's anything in here that intrigues you, um, you should be able to go and purchase it. But I thought I would do an entire video dedicated to just a bunch of new stuff that I've been using. Some of it y'all have seen in pre previous videos, but there's some stuff here that um, I haven't used yet. I have a little Morphe trio that I wanted to um, kind of play around with today. Um, I have a lipstick combo and I also have some brand new products from Undone Beauty that just released today, which is Black Friday, and I have been putting them to the test and I wanted to give you my opinions, my thoughts on what I think about these products so that you can either buy them if you're really intrigued or not buy them. Um, so I wanted to get some info to y'all on that. Um, but first, of course, we have to look, oh, we have to look at the mug that I have today, best mom ever. And if you are a mom watching, just know that you are the best mom ever. There's no other mom out there like you. And um, you just, you just, I think we need to hear that more often. So um, I even was fancy today and I put some whipped cream in my coffee. I know, scandalous. And I put uh, some cinnamon on top because it is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and I'm just feeling super festive so I wanted to give myself something special this morning also I started out with my jade roller and I had this in the fridge and I love to use this on my under eye area first thing in the morning it just helps to depuff the eyes um, kind of get rid of that sleepy look all right so uh, for me I always like to start off with lip balm um, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of this undone beauty lip life uh, it's just clear this is not my favorite lip balm but I do like using it before I apply makeup. It's just kind of a really basic lip balm um, that will help keep my lips nice and moisturized. 
All right, scooch all in a little bit. You seemed way too far. You seemed way off in the distance. So for primer, I'm gonna do a little bit of Laura Geller uh, moisturizing under makeup primer. This is nothing new. I really enjoy this. Um, it's kind of more of a like a moisturizing type, or a, of course, it's it's called a moisturizing primer. It's more of like a moisturizer. It feels a lot like a face cream. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this um, Spotlight Illuminating Primer by Physicians Formula just to give my skin a little bit of glow, especially in the morning when my skin is not looking all that alive and awake. This will just kind of wake it up and give it some life. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the the cream shop. Um, I am balanced beauty water with rosehip oil and pure coconut water. I have been using this every single day. I've been using it in my skincare routine. If I wear makeup, I've been using it to prep my skin and to set my makeup. I absolutely love this. Um, you can get this at CVS. Um, it retails for around $15, and it is so, so good. It's got a little bit of a fragrance, but I actually really like the fragrance. And then because um, we're playing around with some new Undone Beauty products, I thought I would pull out some of my old favorites just because I haven't been using them very often, especially this. This is the uh, Unfoundation Glow Tint. This is one of my favorite kind of skin tint type of products it's beautiful I have the shade 3 latte medium which is a really good match for me um, but it looks like this I did an entire review on undone beauty this was in that video so I will link that below if you want more details and my exact thoughts on this product but I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my face and I'm gonna use my fingers Now, as you can see, this product does not have a lot of coverage, um, but it just kind of evens out the complexion, gives you a nice um, kind of more fresh look to the skin without looking like you're actually wearing makeup. So to conceal a lot of these problems that I'm having on my chin, I don't know why. Lately, my chin has just been breaking out so bad, and I have been trying some new skincare products, so I'm kind of just waiting to see how my skin does because sometimes it goes through a period where it's just kind of adjusting to new skincare and sometimes the skincare products can cause my skin to break out and then after a little while my skin just looks amazing so I'm kind of going through that that ugly stage right now so to conceal all of this I'm gonna go in with the conceal to reveal palette again I have the shade 3 which is latte medium uh, you have a light, a medium, and a full coverage, so I'm going to use medium coverage. I don't want anything too heavy, but I'm going to first start on my chin because that is where I need a lot of the coverage to be. A little bit on my cheek, and I'm just kind of slapping it on. I'm not really blending it out quite yet. And then for the under eye area, I'm going to go in with the light coverage because I don't need too much help under there. And then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just blend all of this out. So I really like the combination of these products because this doesn't give you a lot of coverage, but it just evens everything out. And then you can really go in and kind of tackle those areas where you need extra coverage, but your skin doesn't feel weighed down by a heavy foundation. So as you can see, my skin looks pretty flawless. It looks um, like pretty full coverage, but I don't have to wear a full coverage foundation. And I know I've mentioned this in several videos of mine, how I love going in with the lighter foundation and then just spot concealing. And that is my favorite way to get a full coverage flawless look without using full coverage uh, a full coverage foundation so if you just do not like the way that a full coverage foundation looks on your skin or you just don't like wearing a lot of makeup I highly recommend using this method you don't have to use these products but just use this method to achieve that more flawless look I promise you will love it and it feels so much nicer on the skin all right so I don't have oh I have one cream product hold on before we move on to powders I'm gonna go ahead and and finish with all my creams so I also have this undone beauty lip to cheek palette and I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this on my cheeks I'm going to go in with the medium coverage and this is in the shade blazon it's a pretty loud color but it really shears out to just kind of a really natural flush on the cheeks so I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my cheeks so I've actually been really into blush lately 
and I've been trying to educate myself more on uh, Asian beauty trends and kind of how they do their makeup, their techniques and things like that. And it's been really um, inspiring me to play around with blush more. So I will definitely be trying some new things in tutorials, uh, upcoming tutorials. So that gave the cheeks a little bit of color. If we need to, we can go back and add more later. This does uh, pair well with powder, so you can apply it on top of powder. So you don't have to worry about that. So now I'm going to go in with my number 7 Perfect Light Pressed Powder in the shade Translucent. And I'm going to set my under eye and my smile lines. And then to set the rest of my face, I think I've used this once on camera, but I really want to play around with this more because I haven't, I haven't really tried it and tested it out. So this is the Physician's Formula Youth Boosting Powder. I'll have the exact name listed below. Um, it doesn't have the name on the packaging, but this is a really nice powder. It's got quite a bit of coverage. I don't even know the shade of this. Um, but I'm going to set the rest of my face with this, and I'm just going to lightly kind of stamp it onto my skin. And this is another way to get full coverage without using a full coverage foundation. You can use a really light foundation, skin tint, whatever, and then go in with a powder that has more coverage and that'll give you some more coverage as well. Right, so to contour my face, I'm gonna go in with the Tony Moly Cheek Tone Contour Duo. I've been using this a ton recently. I love this product and I like it because it's very versatile. You can use the lighter shade for contouring or just kind of using to very slightly contour. I like to use it on my nose. You can use the deeper shade if you want some serious contour and then you can mix the two and use that as a contour or use that more as a bronzer. So I'm actually going to go in with the lighter shade and I'm going to use this to contour my face and I'm taking it, taking it on this Undone Beauty contour brush. I've talked about this brush so many times. I actually have have a video dedicated to this brush as well I will link that below um, but it just hugs your cheek so perfectly and I've never been a huge fan of contouring until I tried this brush because it just it's contouring for dummies you really cannot go wrong so just going to give some definition to my face we are gonna go in with bronzer so I'm just using this to contour my face and then I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush and blend that out and then to bronze up the skin, I'm going to go in with the Undone Beauty Warm Up Bronzer. I've raved about this product for a while. It's, it's gorgeous. You just have to use a light hand, especially with these bronzers. They can be really, really intense. Um, I don't think these are good contour shades. They're too warm in my opinion, but it makes a beautiful bronzer just as long as you go in with a lighter hand. Now the highlights in this palette are absolutely gorgeous. They're some of my favorites. Um, you have this beautiful peachy shade and then more of a gold shade. However, I have a brand new highlight palette from Undone Beauty that I have been testing out. So I'm here to give you my thoughts whether I think you should go out and spend your money on it. So this is the Nonzer Glow Palette. Um, with glow giving coconut extract that's one of their main kind of ingredients that you see flowing throughout the line is coconut extract um, it says radiance in four hues that lights up that light up every complexion to achieve the perfect customizable lit from within glow so this is marketed as a four-in-one face and body palette so I believe this was marketed as a face and body palette as well they're the exact same size um, but this is strictly highlighters so um, it comes in this adorable packaging. I really, really like the packaging that Undone Beauty products come in. It's very minimal and kind of chic and sophisticated. I really enjoy it. And this is what she looks like. Now, obviously, I've been kind of dipping into this and playing around with it, so it's kind of muddy. But um, you have four different shades in here. Um, you have a really light pink. You have more of a peachy shade. You have a gold shade. And then you have this lavender shade for um, just maybe something a little bit of extra something a little bit fun that you can incorporate into your look so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and tell you my thoughts um, for me today I think I'm just gonna stick with these top two kind of more peachy shades um, and then I'm taking my favorite Japanese brush to apply these to my face um, I think the biggest difference between this palette and the warm-up bronzer highlighters 
these are a lot more metallic they're more in your face um, they're definitely they definitely have that wow factor um, the other highlighters are beautiful they could definitely be built up to a really intense highlight but those are a little bit more natural they're a little bit more creamy and buttery and they don't show up as metallic on the skin whereas these are pretty metallic um, i think the least metallic and the most kind of more natural creamy shade is this second shade this one actually reminds me the most of the highlighters that are in the warm-up bronzer but the other three are definitely a little bit more chunky and more glittery um, but they are beautiful i mean you can see it on the skin it is super intense so if you like that kind of super intense highlight i think you will really enjoy this so i did notice a slight formula difference between the four shades um this one is a pretty kind of light uh powdery more powdery feel this one is your more kind of creamy buttery type of highlight this one is the most powdery and it's actually kind of chunky in my opinion it's really really pretty but it's definitely more of that chunky highlight and i find that it flakes a little bit and then the lavender kind of reminds me of a combination of this one and this one so it's it's creamy but it still has a little bit of a powderiness to it but um, they're all beautiful and i really enjoy this palette i think for me and my taste and just the type of makeup that i prefer i think i'll reach more for these highlights just because these are kind of more of your standard everyday natural highlighting shades whereas these are a little bit more fun they've got a little bit more color to them um, but I think if you're wanting to incorporate that into your collection and you're wanting to um, incorporate some different shades but at the same time you're not having all purple or all blue or these just crazy intimidating shades you just have this nice kind of pop of lilac at the bottom so if you wanted to add a little bit more color to your makeup look you can do that I also want to mention this gold shade when you initially look at it in the palette when it's brand new it does have a glitter over spray once you get in there and you kind of swatch it and use your brush and get into the product that overlay disappears and you don't have any of that chunky glitter so I did want to mention that but so far I've really been liking it I mean you can definitely see on camera it is it's a pretty blinding highlight it's a little bit more intense than what i normally go for but i think if you like this type of highlight then you will really enjoy this so i am going to tone this down a little bit and just take my powder brush and go over my face and then i'm going to go back in with my beauty water and spritz my face down so I don't have any new brow products, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows with my Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. And then to set them in place, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. Alright, so for the eyes, I have a brand new product. I've used this off camera, but I haven't used it on camera. So uh, a few, I think it was like two weeks ago or maybe a week ago. Anyway, I went to the Morphe store for the first time. They just built one in a mall that is close to me. And I picked up some brushes, but then when I was in the checkout line, I saw this little eyeshadow trio. I'd never seen these before. I'd ne never seen them online or anything. And these shades in particular just really intrigued me. They actually had testers right there at the cashier, so I kind of swatched them. And they felt so beautiful so i of course just impulse buy i threw it in my bag and i was like yes please take some more of my money um but this is the eyeshadow palette in pure nude 3b pure nude you have three matte shades and this formula is unlike anything I've seen from Morphe. It's very, very creamy. It's very buttery. My experience with Morphe eyeshadows in the past, aside from the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original, um, they've been kind of scratchy, sometimes powdery, not really the best formula in terms of the mattes. So I was really, really impressed when I swatched these in the store. Now I'm not going to do anything too crazy with my eye look today because I am doing a red lip, but I thought I would just go ahead and show this to you on camera today. Um, I'm mainly going to be focusing on this shade right here. 
Um, but I wanted to just show you all this. So if you do see them, if you do have a Morphe store near you, you see these online, I would highly recommend picking this up. So I'm going to go in with the shade Kind of Natural, and I'm just going to go ham with the shade, and I'm going to use it all over my entire eye. All right, and then I'm going to take that same shade on a smaller pencil brush, and I'm going to run this on my lower lash line. All right, and then just for a little bit of shine on the eyes, I'm going to go in with the highlighter palette and I'm going to take this more peachy shade on my finger. So it looks like that. And I'm just going to tap this on the center of my lid. All right, so another new product that Undone Beauty is launching today is the Light On Mascara. Um, that it says with conditioning castor oil. This is a light reflecting lush making mascara with holographic pigment for everyday lash magic. And it says it's safe for contact lens wearers. And the shade I guess is black gold. So from what I understand, this is a black mascara with a gold reflect to it or a gold glitter or something of that nature. Now I did try this out and I am super picky about mascara. One, it has to be waterproof. Otherwise, my lashes just fall flat. They do not hold a curl. So this is not waterproof. So that was kind of the first thing that um, I did not like about this mascara because after immediately applying it, my lashes just fell flat. Now, Lash Paradise, my favorite mascara, if I don't get the waterproof version, my lashes fall flat. So that's no fault of the mascara. It's just, it's because it's not waterproof. Now, I did wear this for a long period of time yesterday. I wore it all, all night, and I will insert pictures here, but by the end of the night, I noticed that there were black flakes all around my eye, so underneath my eye, on my eyelid, there were all these little tiny black dots, and um, I will say this is a very dry mascara. Upon applying it, I noticed that immediately. It's not a really wet mascara like my Lash Paradise. It's a more dry mascara, and when you touch your eyelashes after it's dried down, you can feel it flaking off. So I would not recommend this mascara. I wish that they had a waterproof version, and because it is that kind of holographic type of mascara, maybe that's why it's flaking. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't a huge fan of this. And if they do more mascaras in the future, I would love to see waterproof mascaras because I just cannot use regular mascaras. And the way that this flaked shows me that it's probably not going to wear very well throughout the day if there is any kind of moisture in the air or if you're you have very watery eyes or sensitive eyes. I don't know if this would work for you. Also, the packaging, I actually really enjoy the plastic tube packaging. It's kind of a squeezy tube. It looks a lot like their lip glosses. So I actually really, I really think the packaging is very nicely done. But when you pull the wand out, it just feels very cheap. The wand itself just looks kind of like a just cheap mascara that you would find at the dollar store. Um, there's really nothing special about this brush. And I just found that when I was applying it to my eyes, it just felt like a really cheap mascara wand that I was applying to my eyes. So um, I wouldn't recommend this. I think the concept is cool, kind of a holographic mascara to really attract light to the eyes, make your lashes look a lot more full and... Um, I guess voluminous but I think just the execution wasn't there so I did not like this mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and off camera I'm gonna apply my favorite lash paradise and then we'll come back and we'll finish off the look whoa all right so lashes are finally done so all we have left is the lip and this is not a new product by any means this is definitely a classic of this brand but it is a new product to me and I've never tried it before which is so crazy because I love red lipstick and I've never tried this so Ulta was having um, sale on these MAC lip kits. So this is the Ruby Woo lip kit. You get a prep and prime for the lips, you get a Ruby Woo uh, lip liner, and then you get a Ruby Woo 
lipstick. Um, Ruby Woo is a retro matte formula, which I had never tried either. I've tried Max Matte Formula. I've tried uh, I've tried a bunch of their formulas, but I've never tried their retro matte formula. Um, I used to have Prep and Prime way back in the day. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I felt like it just didn't really do anything. Um, so I don't think this is 100% necessary, but it did come in the entire kit, and I really wanted to try these out. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly apply this. Uh, it's essentially a lip primer and I think the whole premise behind this is supposed to really prep your lips moisturize your lips before applying a lipstick but I feel like it's really 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 thin which I mean is a good thing because it's going underneath a lipstick but I just found that it didn't do a whole lot um, because this lip formula is so matte it's incredibly matte I wore this um, for about four hours or so um, one evening and my lips felt so dry uh, the lipstick was starting to flake off so I really need to kind of figure out the best way to wear this lipstick because it is very very matte so I might need to wear kind of a heavier balm underneath or a heavier I don't know something I need to wear something under it because this is pretty, pretty matte. The color is gorgeous. It's a more warm toned red, which is definitely my favorite type of red. So I think I'm going to, no, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick like I always do. And then I'll go in with the lip liner and I'll give you my thoughts on the lip liner as well. I mean, there's no denying this color is absolutely stunning. This would be such a beautiful color to wear this holiday season, especially around Christmas. I just think this is so gorgeous. So now I'm going to go in with the lip liner. I always like to apply my lipstick first and then go in with the lip liner because then I can really perfect any mistakes that I made. If you've ever tried MAC lip liners, they're more dry. They're definitely kind of more of that drier formula they're not creamy or buttery they're more of a stiff pencil so I this is not my favorite formula I prefer the L'Oreal Colorish matte lip liners they glide on beautifully you barely have to put any pressure they're really creamy and buttery and then they dry down to a matte finish this you really have to kind of put a little bit more pressure and a little bit more um, work into applying it it doesn't just glide on but it is a nice formula it's just not my favorite so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips so this lip color is stunning my lips feel a little bit less dry this time I think it's because I had a little bit of this undone beauty lip balm as well on my lips so I think just as long as you kind of properly moisturize your lips I don't think this is going to be too dry but just if you apply it to your lips bare with nothing on it this is going to suck the life out of your lips but it's a beautiful color really great formula and I think this is such a great holiday look this might be my Christmas look this year Alright guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these new products and it was so much fun just kind of playing around with some new stuff and kind of seeing what's new on the market. So just a reminder, the highlighter palette and the mascara do go uh, on sale today. So um, they should be on sale on Amazon and on their website. I'll have everything linked below if I can kind of find out where it is. Um, but those do release today. And I really love this highlighter palette. I think if you're wanting to um, try something from Undone Beauty, I think they have a bunch of really great products. But if you want to try something new and incorporate some gorgeous highlighters into your collection that have a little bit of color and flair, I think this is a beautiful product. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope y'all had an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope you have a very safe and peaceful Black Friday. Um, you know, be nice, be kind to everyone. Let's not push and shove. You know, let's go, let's go back to our kindergarten days where we learned to wait in line and we waited for the person in front of us and we were nice and we had manners. Let's just try and be like that this holiday season. Um, just be kind to one another. I think that's important. So I hope y'all are having a blessed week as always, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.